Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. They're trying to rotate this around a circle. And they said they made these things 6.66 .66 degrees. Well, there, that's a no-no right there because that doesn't divide by 360. So I'm going to draw a two-point line and hit P. I'm going to make my line black. And evidently, if to get 6.6, .6, you'd have to double-click on this and ro rotate it 3 point. 3, 3. And that's what he did. Well, that's not divisible by 360, so it's not going to rotate around. And when he does rotate this and control D and make a duplicate of it and rotate it, well, he had to flip it for some reason or something, but you can take away that zero and go plus 6.66. .66. And it did that, but the lines aren't touching. You can see the the lines aren't touching. And I don't understand why, when he drew this, why this is uh, smaller, thinner than the other part, but that's not my drawing. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this and go to object, group, and ungroup it. I'm just going to delete that line and I'm going to delete that line. Now we have just that. So now I'm going to group this together, control G. I'm going to take away or go up to object and lock and unlock. I'm going to take away that. I had them group. Remember, I'm going to take away these lines so they just won't interfere. I'm going to leave the other lines. So now I'm going to grab that, and I just realized how big this thing is. Wow. And we're not going to use the uh, uh, duplicate key. We're going to use the transformation docker, make life a little easier. Go up to window, in case we make a mistake, we can just redo it. Transformer transformation. We're going to do six degrees, and we need 60 of them. We already got one, so we're going to do 59. That put our main structure in there. And I still don't understand why these are thinner, but uh, maybe it's just an oversight. <clears throat> and then what we can do is take these two lines that he had drawn, and they can be adjusted, but we can make them... Let's make them uh, eight points and turn them blue. And you can make them 12 points if they needed to be. Take that line, go 12 points, blue, take away that center line. And there you have it. And you didn't have to worry about that line touching. Uh, I'm real curious when I send him his email back uh, why this is like this. But it's a pretty neat drawing regardless. <clears throat> anyway, that was just an idea. Instead of trying to match that, just let the uh, lines uh, make it a solid line. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.